Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical and today I'm going to bring you hopefully a short video on how to deal with the Maledict Trinket. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Maledict was added in Season 1. I'll get into more info about it in a little bit. Uh, but basically this video is going to be broken down into three different sections. Uh, the first one is what is Maledict? Two is what to do when you see it you know, used. And the third one is just tips and tricks or how to outplay uh, the Maledict Trinket. So, I just want to jump right into this video. I know that this is a very important video, especially if you want to be successful, or not not video, but like concept, if you want to be successful in PvP this season and probably uh, future seasons. So, I want to start off by talking about what exactly is Maledict. Uh, if, if you watch streams, you might also hear people calling it Dick or Dict. Um, it's a trinket that was added this season. Sinister Gladiator's Maledict, and what it does is after one and a half seconds, it'll launch a little bolt. It look, kind of looks like a shadow bolt, but a little bit different, um, and it deals damage based on the item level of the trinket, but most importantly, it absorbs healing for six seconds, and let me just show you real quick. Oh, that's why I'm zoomed in really far, just so you guys can see uh, what it looks like. Um, the visual is kind of unique, so... If you're paying attention and you're not like looking down at your bars and you're like looking in the center of the like this area, normally you'd be able to see it coming in and you can react pretty fast to it. So this is what Maldic looked like looks like right there, and it see how it did damage and now it's absorbing sixty two thousand five hundred seventy two healing. So that's what Maldic is, and now I want to talk about what you should do when you see it used by other teams. So if you're new to the season or if you're starting the season and you quit and you're just coming back or you're still watching videos or whatever, um, Maledict has changed since it was first introduced. Uh, the first iteration of Maledict, uh, it did damage, it did healing absorption, but you weren't able to spell it. Now, as a healer and through other different ways, which I'll get about in a little bit, you can dispel Maledict, which is awesome. It is considered a spell, so you it does interact with other abilities uh, as if it was a spell. So if you're a healer, by the way, this is mainly pointed towards healers, and if you don't play a monk, even though this is mostly from a monk point of view, you could probably apply some of these concepts if you play Rest of Druid Shaman, uh, Disc Priest, rest in peace, but if you're playing a Disc or Holy Priest, you know, you go out there, Holy Pally, same thing, you can deal with it. Uh, but mostly it's from monk point of view. Um, so when you see it used, if you can, and I'm, if you're not stuck in crowd control, if you're not locked out, you better dispel it as a healer. You 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 have to dispel it. I know it it, it makes it so you can't dispel. Let's say playing against a pre, um, uh, a mage and you dispel Maldict and your deep one of your DPS now has to sit a full poly. That's just how it has to be because this thing does too much damage. Or uh, it does a good amount of damage, but it's a healing absorption, and then you have to deal with how much mana it actually costs to heal through Maldict. Sixty thousand health is is not a small number. It is it is huge. And you do not want to waste your mana, especially with the mana nerfs to all healers across the board. You do not want to heal that mana, heal that, and waste mana on with multiple spells. You, you're better off 1,300 mana. Just think of it as an instant heal. You know, it, for 1,300 mana and one button, you heal 62,000. That's how you have to think of it. Otherwise, you're going to try and heal through it, and you're going to um. And I'm going to be coming out with a guide on how to... Uh, not run out of mana. That's mainly monk point of view, but um, no, really important. You you do not want to have to heal through maledict. You're gonna have to sometimes, but you don't want to. Right now, uh, the strategy is you press maledict. So uh, maybe I'm a healer, and I press maledict, and the enemy healer is really good, dispels it instantly. Now that healer doesn't have the spell for what seven seconds. So now both of my DPS, my probably DK and Warrior, they're both going to use their Maledicts, and there's nothing they can do about it. You don't have a Dispel. You have nothing. If you're a Priest, maybe you can manage to spell it, but as a Monk, I, maybe I have Revival, but that's a three-minute cooldown. I can only do that once, and this has a two-minute cooldown. So what happens when you see a Maledict and you can't Dispel it? Most of the time, you might have to just heal through it, unfortunately. Um, you're going to have to... If you're going to heal through Maledict, you really want to... Um, you want to use do it as efficiently as possible. So if I see Maldix and I can't dispel it, I'll press Manatee instantly. If you're a Druid and you see Maldix, you can't dispel it, press Innervate, try and heal through it. Uh, as for other healers, I mean, it, 
You're a little bit better on mana, but, you know, Holy Paladin, and Resto Shaman, Disc Priest, uh, you're, you guys are going to have to heal through it as efficiently as you can. I want to talk to you guys about how you can actually prevent Maledict. So the last thing you want to do when it comes to Maledict is heal through it. You, you do not want to heal through it. So let me talk to you about some abilities that can hopefully prevent Maledict from ever hitting. Um, now, I don't know if this is a complete list. This is right off the top of my head. So I'm going to do my best to try and go through every class or... Um, Give you a few examples. So, as I said earlier, Maledict is considered a spell. So, if you're a monk, for example, and someone uses Maledict on you, you can use Diffuse Magic and it reverses that and completely gets it off of you. Diffuse Magic is really good. If you're a Mistweaver and you just dispelled, you can use Revival to uh, dispel it and then heal. So, it completely negates Maledict, which is really good. If you're a Shaman, you can ground it. Um, if you're a warlock, you can use your shield. Is it nether ward? You can nether ward shield it. If you're a death knight, you can AMS it. Um, trying to think of other scenarios, other healers that have some kind of reflect. Now, I was listening to Smexen, and he was talking about how he cannot spell reflect maledict, which is a very weird interaction, honestly. Um, it's a very weird interaction. So... I don't know, maybe try and confirm it with him, I, confirm with a different warrior. I'm not going to say that as fact because I really don't know. But he was saying that you can't reflect Maledict. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of other healers. I believe you can mass dispel it. If you're a priest, it costs a lot of mana, but I think it's worth it. Um, I think that's the only... Re oh, Shadow Melt. If you're a Night Elf, a lot of you might see be watching the tournament every weekend both for EU and NA, you might see some Night Elves out there. Uh, that's because you can actually, if it's mid-air, you can also feign death as a hunter, uh, same same way. If you Maledict and you Shadow Meld it mid-air, it won't hit you. It's just like a normal spell, you know? If you Shadow Meld the Polymorph, the Polymorph won't hit you, the Maledict won't hit you. And I believe if you feign death at the same time, the, the Maledict won't work because you feign death it. So abilities like that work really well. Um, so yeah, you could use all those abilities to to deal with Maledict. So let's say through all those abilities, Maledict still hits. What can you do? There's a few things you can do. Obviously, number one thing, you want to dispel it. Two, if you can't, and honestly, if you can, if your DPS can kite it out, and your DPS can kite behind the pillar, you're better off waiting, because it's only six seconds. It's six seconds uh, that the healing absorption lasts for. You're better off waiting six seconds. Just wait it out, so you wait six seconds, and then start healing, because you don't want to waste the mana on healing through the absorption. So that's also an option. Another thing you can do is that you can actually use a PvE trinket. So there are multiple PvE trinkets here. Let me let me, uh, let me me give you some examples. So in the current raid, Battle of the Zarlor, there's a few trinkets that you can get. There's actually, I think there's two, two really good ones. Uh, the first one is uh, off the first boss. So if you can get a Mythic... Uh, run just for the first boss. The first boss is super simple, really easy. You want Ward of Envelopment. It it is a huge heal, seventy four thousand damage. It absorbs that much. So if you like Mal, if someone Maldex and you put this up, they have a huge shield on them. Gives you time to work with, you, try and get your dispel off cooldown again. It's really good. I don't have it yet. I really want it. I keep running it every week. The other one is off King. Yep, yeah, King uh, Rastakin. It is called. This is the one I have, but it's on normal, unfortunately. Uh, it instantly heals for 91. Th this is not mythic, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting that anytime soon. But on heroic, it heals instantly heals for 79,000, and this can crit. So if you know, if you're running, if you're a healer and you're running, I don't know, safeguard, and you want to drop maledict for you know PB trinket, that's fine. If you're more aggressive, you want to play maledict and you want to run PB trinket, that's fine too. Either way is fine. I think having at least one PBE trinket is really solid. And the, so this instantly heals through it. It costs no mana. It just instantly heals through the Maledict. Really solid. So basically, let me run you through what this does. So as a monk, if I have this PvE trinket and somebody uses Maledict, my first global is going to be Dispel. I'm going to Dispel it instantly. If the, the team decides to coordinate, they use a second one, I'll use my PvE trinket right here. Boom. I'll heal right through it. I heal right through the second Maledict. And let's say they throw out a third one. Boom. I'll Revival. So that's all three Maledicts done. The PvE Trinket has a two-minute cooldown, so it lines up with Maledict. You can hopefully dispel next time, and unfortunately, Revival has a three-minute cooldown. So they are going to get that third Maledict off. So hopefully, this helps you somehow. I Hopefully, some of these abilities you guys might not have been using or thinking about using for Maledict helps. And I hope, remember, 
if, if Malda connects, number one, number one thing you want to do is you want to dispel. Second thing, try and use a Maledict or, or try and use a PvE Trinket. And the third thing, best you can do, if you're with a mobile, if you want like a, like a Windwalker who can port, if you're playing with a Death Knight that can uh, hopefully run away, a Warrior that can leap, a uh, Mage that can blink, Rogue that can step to you, try and get LOS, wait out the six seconds, just wait it out, and then start healing. The last situation you want to be doing is healing through the healing through the absorption. Sometimes you have to. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. So I've had to do it all the time. Uh, a few games every night, you know. So I don't have the spell. Um, my my teammates are up pushed in. You know, they're trying to be aggressive. I'll just I'll just throw out a life cocoon. That's it. I'll throw out a life cocoon, heal because it uh, life cocoon increases the healing of uh, increases my healing over time effects. So uh, I, I throw out a life cocoon, put out a thunder focus, the one enveloping, one renewing mist, boom. Heals, th heals through the Maledict. They still got a little life cocoon left. So um, hopefully this helps. Um, I hope there's some kind of information in here that you guys enjoyed. If there's something I said that's wrong or a spell that I doesn't interact the way I think it is, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure the spells I listed work. And I'm sure there are a bunch more. You get Greater Fade. Oh, if you're a priest, you can Greater Fade as well. I forgot about that. So yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, yeah, I'll be coming out with another guide on how to deal with um, mana and how to stay at a healthy amount of mana as a mystery monk pretty soon. So that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a great day and I will see you later.